Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Poco F2 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The cheapest I found it for was 530 bucks. Now it comes in four different colors. You got neon blue, phantom white, electric purple, and cyber gray. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T, T-Mobile, or Verizon, you're good to go. If you got Sprint, you asked out. For the display, you got a 6.67 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 395 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10 plus, Gorilla Glass 5, and 500 nits max brightness. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now it's running Android 10 with MIUI 11 skin on top. You got six or eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now for the battery, you got a 4,700 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charging. Now Poco claims you can charge your phone from zero to 100% in 63 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a quad setup. So you got a 64 megapixel wide angle, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, a five megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 20 megapixel wide angle pop-up selfie camera. Now check this out. You got Bluetooth 5.1, NFC, and FM radio. You get face unlock, an on-screen fingerprint sensor, always on display, an IR blaster, and a headphone jack. All of that for 500 bucks, this seems like a pretty good deal. But what's missing? There's no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant. There's no wireless charge. There's no 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate. No expandable memory. And my biggest gripe, no dual speakers. So everybody's saying that this is a flagship killer. It's missing too many things for me to be a flagship killer. But is this a dope phone for 500 bucks? Let's find out. First things first, Shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White I shoes. Love my white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Poco F2 Pro. Grab a little unboxing knife. Rah. All right, shoes, better wash those whiskers. Here we go. Now, take a guess what color I went with. First of all, had a nice little presentation alert, black and yellow. I like that. 5G. High res audio, sounds good to me. Here we go, inside the box. Let's see, now this is gonna be your, now I'm gonna do this right, SIM ejection tool. Okay, now you get a case. Let's see how this looks. Nice little gel skin case, nothing too fancy on this one. All right, shoes back up. Got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. This is gonna be your device. Flick of the wrist. Now you got a 30 watt fast charging brick. No need to take that out. And a USB Type-C charging cable. Now on a side note, if you order this from eBay, it does come with the uh, adapter, so you can plug it in in the USA. Now for the phone itself, I went with the uh, White Shoes White. Let's peel that stick off the back. Stick is just trolling. Right. Here we go, White Shoes White. Matter of fact, let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! Yes, this is definitely that White Shoes White. All right, I'm feeling this one. All right, you got your quad camera set up on the rear. Power button, got a little hint of red in it. Let's hit that up real quick. All right, now it looks like a pre-installed screen protector. There's your pop-up selfie camera, headphone jack, and IR blaster. IR blaster on deck, let's go. On the bottom, USB type C. All right, that's gonna be your SIM tray, speaker grill, and that's pretty much it. MIUI 11. Looks good, fresh out of the box. All right, so let me pause the video, I'll set up all my information, and then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I gotta be honest with y'all, for 500 bucks on a scale of one to 10, this is a major go. Now, if you've seen my video for the original Poco phone, there was two things that I hated. Number one, the build quality was trash. 
And number two, the camera was weak. Well, now with the Poco F2 Pro, the build quality is actually excellent. The camera's pretty good. And the one thing that I thought I was gonna hate, the no dual speakers, I actually don't hate. The one bottom firing speaker sounds pretty good. All right, so shout out to Poco. They hit a home run with this one. Let's break it down. First things first, build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. This one actually has a flagship level build. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, you got the aluminum frame, has a nice heavy weight to it, all screen display, since you got the, hold up, let me show y'all real quick. The pop-up selfie camera, all screen display, the build quality on this one is excellent. Now it's not water resistant, but it has that flagship feel to it. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, but my favorite way, face unlock using the pop-up selfie camera. Now listen to that sound. Not only does it light up, but it has a sound that you can change the color of the lights and you can also change the sound. But I am feeling this. I don't know why manufacturers like OnePlus stop making the pop-up selfie camera. I am feeling it. I, it gives you that James Bond feel. It just feels futuristic. Let me do that one more time. Not to mention, it catches your face from a long distance and it opens up flawlessly. Nice and fast. So if you don't want to use the on-screen fingerprint sensor, get used to swiping up. Look how fast that was. This is pretty sick. Now look, there's no 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate. I got kind of spoiled after using all these high-end phones. But you're not really going to notice the difference with 60 hertz, especially if you haven't used 120 hertz. It's going to feel nice and fast. It's going to feel very fluent. All right, it's not going to feel slow at all. IR Blaster on deck. Now let me show you exactly why an IR Blaster is so sick. Check this out. All right, check this out. Now from the phone, I'm gonna select the Mi Remote. I added the Sony controller. Watch this. There's my TV. We're gonna hit the power button. Fully functional remote control. Now if I wanna turn the TV off. Just like that. The IR Blaster is a major go. All right, so let's go through some of the basic features. I'll try to do this quick. You got all your standard toggles. So you got a flashlight, you got screenshot, you got screencast and screen record. Let's go to settings. All right, so you got VPNs, private DNS. You can use this as a wireless display and you got NFC. So you can use tap and pay. You got always on display. Let's see, let's go to, uh, let's check the regular display settings. Anything we need to see, uh, color schemes. You got default warm and cool. Saturated or standard. I like to leave mine saturated. Keep it nice and moist. You got full screen mode. Now if you want to, you can get rid of the, uh, the, uh, the Android buttons and use your swipe gestures. I like having the three buttons on the bottom. It is what it is. Sound and vibration. All right, check this out. That bottom firing speaker is actually pretty loud. Now I want to show y'all something real quick. Check this out. If you want to change the colors for your pop-up selfie camera, you can. So here's red, here's green. You got a few different shades of blue. That's pretty sick. Now you can also change the sound. So there's your xylophone, you got condor, magic, you got the mecca. That's my favorite one. You got gear wheel and cabin door. Let's leave it on Mecca. That's pretty dope. And for colors, I like red. That's pretty sick. All right, so there's a few more things I wanted to show y'all in settings. Now say you wanna take advantage of having this full screen display and you don't want the buttons on the bottom, go to additional settings, full screen display, full screen gestures. Now you can use your swipe controls, all display. Now check this out. Special features. You got game turbo, video toolbox, quick replies. You got LED light, so you can have it flash for incoming calls, keep on while charging, flash for notifications when the screen is off, and you can also manage your notifications. You got your front camera effects and second space. Second space 
also known as thought protection. Now let me show you how this works and let me show you why this is one of my favorite features. All right, so I'm gonna open up the phone using my regular fingerprint on my right hand. Here's my home screen. Let's go to Instagram. This is my Instagram page. Let's go to gallery. You see I had a little white shoes photo shoot. This is all me. Now I'm gonna close the phone. This time I'll open it up with my left print, also known as my thought print. Watch this. Now if you notice, a different wallpaper on the background. Let's go to Instagram. No Instagram logged in. Let's go to gallery. No photos on deck. Now my phone is in scumbag mode. Anybody can pick it up and go through it. I'm gonna look like a gentleman. Close it up. Let's open it up with a regular fingerprint. Bong. Back to my Instagram. All of my posts. Let's go back to gallery. All of my pictures on deck. Thought protection. I think every phone needs to have a second space, but I love how Xiaomi implements it with the fingerprint locks. That's pretty sick. Let me show you one more time. All right, so here's the other fingerprint. Back to scumbag mode with no Instagram, just that fast. Back to gentleman mode. There it is. That's so sick. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. There it is. Nice and smooth, no lag. You seen how fast that was? Let's try some split screen multitasking. Let's open up YouTube on the bottom. And there it is, YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top. Speaking of YouTube, let me pull up a test video so y'all can see the display and check out these speakers. All right, so I got my usual video queued up. Here we go. All screen display, looks so beautiful. Listen to that one bottom firing speaker. Like I said, I thought it was gonna be trash, but it actually sounds pretty good. Now, if it would've been dual speakers, <laughs> it would've been over. I just love having no notch, no cutout, 100% full screen display. Let's go. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. Say you got your phone on the table and you're getting ready to catch that world star hip hop moment. Grab the phone, press volume down twice. Bong, opens up just that fast. Let's go through the different shooting modes. All right, so you got slow motion, you got short video, you got regular video, which you can do wide angle all the way up to six times zoom. You got photos, which you can do wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. Now you also have artificial intelligence. That's your scene selection. You got macro. You got 64 megapixels. You got portrait mode. You got night mode, panorama, and pro mode. Change your white balance, change your shutter speed, go crazy. Now let's go to video. Let's go over the settings. All right, so for video quality, you got 1080p, 60 frames per second. You got 4K, 30 frames, 4K, 60 frames, 720, 30, and you also got 8K. All right, so you can have 8K recordings. For this video test, I'm going to do 4K, 60 frames per second. Now, let's take a look at some test pictures and videos, because on a side note, this is what usually separates a mid-range phone from a flagship phone, the camera quality. Now, when you're taking pictures in a nice sunny day, they're all gonna look great. But video quality, pay attention to the video quality. That's what separates mid-range phones from flagship phones. Check this out.
All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, the Poco F2 Pro is a major go. And at 500 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now here's the things that I don't like. There's no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant. There's no wireless charge. There's no 90 or 120 hertz refresh rate. There's no expandable memory. When you're using MIUI 11, you get a whole bunch of ads. I don't like that. The video camera quality could be better and there's no dual speakers. But for 500 bucks, you're getting an excellent build quality, a big, beautiful 1080p display, all screen display, always on display, IR blaster, headphone jack, plenty of RAM, plenty of storage, a big 4,700 milliamp battery that features fast charge. You got the latest processor and the latest GPU, but most importantly, if you buy this instead of buying a Galaxy, you're gonna have an extra 500 bucks in your pocket. Like I said, this is a win. Anyway, Poco F2 Pro, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys and lab. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. We're in a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.